Hello and welcome back to Humanizer, my free and open source 3D character creator for Godot 4.2 based on the Make Human program and MPFP2 plugin for Blender. So I've added the ability to import the Mixamo animations directly into Humanizer with a single click of a button. So I'll be showing you how to use that. But first, I did want to mention again that I am no longer affiliated with Emberlight or the Patreon. So I really appreciate all of your donations, but I am no longer receiving those. And for this to work, you will need the FBX import enabled. So under project settings, you'll go to the file system import and enable the FBX. Then in the file path, so in the editor settings, you'll go to file system import and make sure that you are, have the path to your FBX to GLTF, which you can download from the documentation. So you'll have to read that if you need help setting that up. The, as you can see, I have all of the animations in one resource and they do have the, ro the root motion track here, which is added in the script. So now you don't have to download the animations individually. You can just download the one zip file and extract it into the input folder here. And to make it easier, I've added a in animation importer node on the authoring scene. So this is in your humanizer scenes authoring.tscn. So I've added the animation importer node here. And once you have your animations in the input folder, and you can change the output name as well, and the output folder, you can toggle the add root. If you don't want root motion on the anim animations, you can disable that. And then once all of these are set up, you can just hit the run checkbox and it will re-import the assets as you saw and then these will end up in the animations output folder by default so you can see that there is the test.resource animation player and now if you go to manage animations you can load the test resource and you can see they're down here that these all work. You can also make a new animation importer just by creating a regular, just in a regular scene. You can, from the scripts core animation importer.gd, you can just drag that directly onto any node and these and then you'll have these options here and you can change your input and output folders and whatever. So that's really easy to use and now it's just a one click instead of, I had two scenes previously, so I figured out how to get that all into one script. And just to reiterate, to make this root motion track work, you'll need to set the root motion in the animation player or the animation tree that you're working on so you'll set that to root. If it is not set, you will see the character moves with the root position. So you can just assign that in the animation player. And then if you're using a skeleton that does not have a root bone by default, then you can add this root motion component, which will add the additional bone as well. So to use this, you'll need to grab the Mixamo Reduce doll from the Humanizer Data Animations folder. So here's the Mixamo Reduced.fbx. And this will be included in the 1.10 beta release, which you'll be able to find here once this video is uploaded. And you'll be able to download the Humanizer source code or you can just grab it from the repository. But then you'll want to upload your character to Mixamo.com. So you'll upload the Mixamo reduced.fbx from the animations folder and let it process. 
and once it's done you can select any of the animations from Mixamo either the singular animations then you can download it it no longer matters if you download with or without the skin so and just make sure that it's an FBX binary and you can download the individual files or you can download the entire motion pack like the longbow locomotion so and again the pose doesn't matter so you would think original pose would work but I'll show you why we still had to retarget so you can select any pose and choose the FBX format for the packs and you can download those as well and once it's done downloading, the single animations will just be an FBX, the packs will be a zip file, so you'll need to extract, and then you can copy all of the FBX files. So you don't actually need this uh, Mixamo basis, but it doesn't matter if it's in there. So then you'll just paste those into your working directory. So add-ons, humanizer, data, animations, input by default. And you can delete these two example FBXs and any imports that are in there. But just make sure you keep the GD ignore. And then you can paste in all your animations from the pack. And you can rename the animations with a dash loop at the end to automatically loop them when it imports. So you'll probably want to loop the, the movement animations. But you can also just toggle the setting in the resource once it's imported. So whichever you think is easier to do. And you can also change the input and output folders through the editor here if you want. But as I said, just make sure that you have the GD ignore in there so it doesn't import your assets prematurely. And once you have all of your animations in the input folder, then you can open up the authoring scene and click the animation importer, as I showed you, or using any scene with the animation importer.gd script attached to the node. So then you can change the name to this is the longbow locomotion. And I do want root motion enabled, so you'll just hit the run button. And you can see that it will take it will import each file individually, so this will take longer, of course, if you have a bigger pack. And if you do forget to change the output name, I did make it increment so it won't overwrite your existing animations, and you can just rename the resource. But I do recommend moving them into a different folder once they're done processing. And now you can go to Manage Animations and load the Longbow Locomotion and all of the animations are now selectable so the looped ones are automatically looped and I have the root motion set up already and these animations will work with any of the three retargeted rigs as I said so it's pretty easy to use let me know if you have any questions or issues and I did want to briefly go over the APOS and t-pose issue that we were having so so if you download the same animation with and without the skin from Mixamo then you can see without the skin has just the skeleton but here so with the skin the base animation is in a pose and without the skin it's in T pose. So that was the issue because the make human models in A pose and the so the arms were getting messed up when you use the default retargeting on the T pose. And you can see in the the pack here 
So there was the option to keep the original skin when you download the animation pack. And so the Mixamo basis file will be in the A pose, but then all of the animations, again, will be in T pose. So that is why the default retargeting was not working. So if you open up the import settings, advanced import settings for the animation, if you go to the skeleton, previously we were using the default skeleton profile humanoid, which is in T-Pose. So I copied all the data from here and then plugged in the positions and transforms from the A-Pose retargeted skeleton. So I made a new A-Pose profile essentially and this is in the data animations A-Pose skeleton profile and I haven't updated the pictures or positions of the nodes but you just want to make sure that the body and hands are green the little dots are green so sometimes when I load this just initially it will be gray if you change to the skeleton the humanoid profile and then back to this then all the dots should be green and then you'll want to enable fix silhouette so that will force it into the a pose so and now if i re-import this as an animation library then i should be able to load the T pose, so without the skin. And you can see that the arms are correctly positioned. So before it was like he was in a straight jacket and his arms were like going through his torso if the retargeting is wrong. But the good news is that now this should work with any animations that you have not just from Mixamo because it doesn't require the A pose. So that's good. Um, anyway, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.